What's up YouTube, KidMoto22 here, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about Harley-Davidson changing the name classifications of all their bikes again, and what I think this means for the motor company and the future moving forward. So let's get to that. Welcome back everybody, KidMoto22 here, and so Let's talk about the new classifications that Harley is going to be using for all their motorcycles. I'll put a picture of that up right here and uh, you guys will be able to see how they've reclassified their bikes. So you have the sport category, the cruiser category, grand American touring, adventure touring, trike, and electric. So in the sport category right now, they only have one bike included in that category and that's the sports dress. I don't think that's going to be the only bike included in that category. I think we're going to see um, their naked street bike that we saw a couple of years ago, and I'm pretty sure that's the Bronx. Um, they did patent that name when they patented the Pan America, and so I think that's what you're going to see coming out in the next few years um, with that new Revolution Max motor. The next thing is our cruiser category. This is all of your um, current Sportster models and the soft tail frames to include the Heritage. Now they've moved the Heritage back up into this cruiser category and out of the touring category, which if you remember a couple years ago, they moved the Heritage into the touring category. The next one is the Grand American Touring. So they're calling the Grand American Touring basically all of their traditional baggers, right? So your Street Glide, your Road Glide, the Road King, Road King Special, Electra Glide, kind of all of your traditional baggers are in your Grand American Touring to also include the Revival bike. Now, I don't know if that means the Revival bike is going to be moving around um, into a different category or um, if they're just gonna leave it in there. Um, I, if, I don't know if you remember, but when they put out the Revival bike, they said they were gonna put out a bike like this um, every year or every other year that was gonna be a throwback model. And whether or not that bike all, always follows in, falls in the Touring category, I don't think it will, so I think you might see that Revival bike move around to different categories, but it's currently in the Grand American Touring category. The next thing is your Adventure Touring, which includes your Pan America. I think you're going to see other bikes in the Adventure Touring market. I think they're going to be the Grand, they're going to be the Adventure Touring frame is going to be the Pan America. Um, for the most part in the iterations of that model. So whether we see a 900 or a lesser CC model of the Revolution Max motor or um, some models that are, you know, maybe smaller in size, like you see the you see it BMW do with many of its uh, adventure touring bikes. They have, you know, obviously the GS1200 and they have lower models. They have an 800 and they have, you know, models that have a, a smaller CC, smaller frame and are built a little bit different depending on how you want to use it. So I think you're going to see that in the adventure touring lineup as Harley continues to move forward and um, kind of advance this line of motorcycles that they have. Uh, their trike category is you know, they're standard, standard trikes. I mean, what you would expect out of um, a company that puts out trikes, the kind of touring trike that they have, and then the one without um, the touring pack on the back. And the last category is the electric bike, which obviously is the live wire, and then the other models of the live wire that they've put out that are appear to be essentially the same thing as the live wire, but they're a lesser price. I, I, you know, I don't understand the whole live wire market. I haven't really followed it, to be honest with you. But you know, it, they've included that in their new category. So, I think this is um, a way that Harley is kind of redefining the different categories of their marketplace and where they can add bikes into those categories. So when you go to Harley, you don't just think that traditional cruiser. You're gonna be able to find something in, the, in what they're gonna call their sport category. Um, if you want a, a traditional cruiser, there's gonna be their cruiser category. If you're looking for a touring bike, they've actually named it touring or an adventure touring, which is their Pan America. So I think this new classification kind of is to maybe get them to um, realign with their competition, or I shouldn't say realign, but align 
with their competition and how their competition defines their bikes. And that Harley is going to have bikes in each one of these categories um, as they expand each one of these models, as they expand their sport category. It's not just gonna contain the Sportster S, it's gonna have a naked sport bike. Those kind of things are gonna be included in that category. Um, uh, the adventure touring uh, specifically um, as they expand that line. So while your traditional Harleys are probably going to be in the Grand American Touring and Touring or in cruiser segments, there's going to be an expansion of the other markets to appeal to a wider range of riders. So that's what I have for you guys today. The new classifications, and I don't know if you've seen it or not, but if you have, take a look at it. Um, they've kind of moved things around a little bit. Um, and, and it, it just, I think it leaves room for what they're doing and their plans for the future. So there you go. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll put a link to another video of mine that you might like over here or over here. And again, you can subscribe here, here, wherever it ends up. And uh, that's what I have for you guys today. This is Kid Moto. I'm out.